Hello everyone, as I promised last time, I continue with another video focused on famous German heavy tank King Tiger. The model itself was finished in the previous video, and today I'm going to build a small diorama for it. So let's get started. I measure base dimensions released to the size of my model. The gun barrel should not overlap the edges of the base, and I want to leave only a few centimeters of a free space on the each side. I have chosen plywood with a thickness of 2 mm, which makes a solid base for the whole diorama. It is not a problem to cut the exact dimensions with a sharp knife, since plywood is a quite soft material. Now I create terrain from extruded polystyrene, and then I glue it to the plywood board with a special adhesive for polystyrene. It will surely more interesting if the terrain is uneven. And so I modify the shape of the polystyrene with a knife. You can create rocks, craters or streams with the same technique. The edges of the diorama looks pretty bad, and so I cut out frame from balsa wood and glue it on the base's sides with a super glue. Now it looks much better. Next I create soil terrain, and again it's a quite straightforward. You do not need any expensive products, you need only water, grey plaster for sky modelers and sawdust. If you do not have a sawdust or you don't know where to buy it, you can ask your local woodworkers, as I have done it myself. They will surely give you some superfluous sawdust. Mix everything properly and you get some great stuff. Now I simply model the terrain as I wish. I took a ton tracks from old tank model and pressed them into the mud. This way I can create a nice road texture. The terrain still looks very uniform and so I add a few small stones. I work only on small areas at once because mud is drying quite quickly.
In the end, I can pour a fine gravel and sand on the terrain. The terrain is finished. I cut out the protruding edges of the balsa frame, so that will nicely copy the terrain shapes. And I let everything dry properly for 5 hours. I paint the terrain with European brown color, because the diorama will be from Normandy 1944. I add dry pigments and special water products for scale modelers. This combination creates a wet matte effect. And again, I let it dry for a couple of hours. Now the funny part, vegetation. You can use static grass or foliage with already applied grass. It looks nice, but I will use it for another project. Because static grass will be more practical here. I do not have a static grass applicator, but I can create pieces of the turfs in my fingers and stick them onto the ground. You can find a lot of diorama material in the woods and mountains. For example, this beautiful moss I have got from the Alps. Bushes and flowers can be simply bought. There are plenty of things for railroad models. Just choose and use. Now I am using rotten wood. This material is also for free. Now 
Next I add an old fence, because good diorama must have a lot of details. I just cut out a few rods from a wooden skewers. The wooden skewers are also very cheap and useful material for your diorama. I also add some tiny shrubs. They are actually roots from a fallen tree. However, I like these bushes made for rail models. Well, now we move a couple of months in the time, because I want to use some snow. First I apply a PVA glue, and then powder snow texture called Snow Micro Balloons, made by AK. It is that simple. It is recommended by a majority of the publications about making dioramas to use a vertical element. The result is that the surface will optically break. So I'm going to make a simple telegraph pole from the skewers. And maybe I will put some wires on it. It's a common problem to find a good quality figures in the 1 to 72 scale. Luckily, my friend from local scale modeling club has some old dragon kits with a limited series of perfect German miniatures. I borrow them and make my own molds. I have a new resin casting technique and therefore they are not bad at all. The miniatures are also an essential factor of a diorama. You can simply create a story or an action scene if you use them properly.
I also have uh, some beautiful edge labels with uh, tongue names, so you can expect some other models with their own dioramas in the future. I make letters more proud with a black wash. The tank looks like it doesn't belong to the diorama. The road is very muddy and 70 tons of steel must create a large furrow. That is why I drop the tank into the mud. In the end, I add some wires on the telegraph pole and paint them. And it is finished. As usual, I have again used some techniques and products. And I would like to create a new video series focused only on dioramas. If you think it's a good idea, you can post me a comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.